a friend of mine reached out to me earlier today asking me for advice on on how to be more productive essentially he's organizing his calendar and planning out his days but he's having a hard time estimating how much time tasks should take this led to an interesting conversation and i figured hey this might also make a good video so i decided to share with you guys i'm a big proponent of time management through a calendar app because there's different techniques on how to be more productive like pomodoro gtd and you know they're out there but essentially your days are made up of time and if you really want to get the most out of each day you have to maximize what it is that you're doing per unit of time so you have to plan yourself if you really really want to be effective so here's my friend telling me how he always either overestimates or underestimates the amount of time a particular activity is going to take him and this is something that I also experienced the first time I was implementing the calendar system into my life. But what I found helpful in getting as close as possible to estimate tasks accurately was the first few weeks of the system, I actually didn't plan anything ahead of time. What I was doing, I was logging the time spent on all my activities after the fact. For example, if I went to the gym to work out at 2 p.m., and I stayed there till 3 p.m. Once I got out of the gym, that's where I would block out in the calendar how I spent one hour in the gym. And I would carry on my day. And let's say I then had lunch from 3 to 3.30. Then I would write, I had lunch during that block period. And I kept doing that with everything I did, work, recording videos, sleeping, everything. And by the end of the week, I had a week's worth of data that I could then look at and assess to measure how much time I was spending on, on certain things. And that really helped me in determine what things I was taking either too long to do or the things that I could do pretty quickly to where maybe it wasn't necessary for me to track them in the calendar or that I could just knock out pretty fast during the day. In my experience, that's been the most effective way to to actually develop and build out the, the system. What I actually like the most about doing it this way is that at the end of the day, you'll probably find out that you waste a lot of time, that there's either a lot of dead spots or that you can actually be doing more things faster. And that'll be like a wake up call to actually aim to get the most out of each day, which is something that's pretty exciting because then you're gonna find yourself with a lot of spare time that you were misusing most likely. So yeah, this was an interesting conversation that I had today that I felt it was appropriate to share because I thought it'd be helpful for, for you guys. So if it was, do let me know in the comments or if there's anything else that you'd like me to expand on. And as always, I do really appreciate you for watching. Thanks, and I will see you on the next one.